In this tutorial, we'll cover how to find and use open data, as well as methods for sharing and accessing data through repositories or crowdsourced data. According to the Open Knowledge Foundation, which publishes an open data repository called Data Hub, open data is data that people are free to use, reuse, and redistribute without any legal, technological, or social restrictions. Increasingly, government agencies and non-governmental organizations are beginning to release raw data sets for public use through what are often referred to as open data repositories. A repository is a place where information and content is stored. The open data repositories referred to in this tutorial are digital repositories, meaning that the data available through the repository are stored as digital files. Let's take a look at a website called data.gov, which is an open data repository created by the United States federal government. The U.S. government releases data sets from a variety of government agencies, such as the Center for Disease Control, or CDC, the Department of Labor, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, or USDA, through data.gov. Because data.gov releases complete data sets publicly, Citizens and other organizations can usually reuse data from data.gov to create new applications. One example application created using data from data.gov is bankrank.org, which grades financial institutions by using complaint data that is controlled for bank size and categorized by service and product focus. Bankrank.org uses publicly available data sets from data.gov such as the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's Consumer Complaint Database. The Consumer Complaint Database is raw data that is available to download and access in a number of formats, including comma-separated values, or CSV, JavaScript Object Notation, or JSON, and XML. While CSV files can be opened and analyzed using spreadsheet software, such as Microsoft Excel or Google Drive, JSON and XML files are designed to be read by applications rather than humans. Using and parsing JSON and XML files requires some programming or web application development knowledge. Some data collected by government agencies and organizations is confidential and cannot be released as open data. For example, the CDC would not release private, identifying health data about an individual. Instead, data is often aggregated meaning that large data sets are combined together, analyzed, and summarized, and individually identifying data is removed. Just because a data set is accessible or available on the web does not mean that it has been released as open data. You can identify if a data set has been released as open data if it has been published in an open data repository, or by looking for terms of use or license statement associated with the data. Open data initiatives are part of a larger trend toward embracing open access to information. Open access, or OA, refers to research available online that is free, or at least partially free, from restrictions on reuse such as copyright. Open access information is sometimes released under a Creative Commons license, which defines how content can be reused, modified, or shared. There are several different kinds of Creative Commons licenses. One common kind of Creative Commons license is an attribution share alike license, which allows for content to be reused as long as the original source is attributed or cited, and as long as the reused material is released under the same license as the original data. This means if the original data source is released as a Creative Commons attribution share alike license, Anything created from the original data source must also be released using that same license. Open data is often also released in the public domain. Data released in the public domain is released for public use without any intellectual property rights retained by the creator. A public domain designation indicates that the data can be reused without restriction. Even if data you use or reuse is in the public domain, it is still important to cite the original source of the data you are using so that your audience can evaluate the data for themselves. Remember the consumer complaints database from data.gov that was used by the bankrank.org? 
As with most data sets on data.gov, this data set provides information about how it can be licensed or reused under access and use information. This data set has been released publicly and the license indicates that no license information was provided. If this work was prepared by an officer or employee of the United States government as part of that person's official duties, it is considered a U.S. government work. There are no copyright restrictions on reproduction, derivative works, distribution, performance, or display of government works. Because the data is released by a federal government agency, it can be reused as though it were in the public domain. Many types of content can be open access, including scholarly, peer-reviewed publications, conference proceedings, books and book chapters, images, as well as data. Being able to freely access research is important to society as a whole so that we can better learn from reliable information. In 2012, the World Bank issued an open access policy for the organization's research and data. As World Bank Group President Robert B. Zolik said, Knowledge is power. Making our knowledge widely and readily available will empower others to come up with solutions to the world's toughest problems. Our new open access policy is the natural evolution for a World Bank that is opening up more and more. It is true that the more information we share, the more we are aware and are exposed to opportunities for social growth, development, and positive change. As a researcher, you may be a consumer of open data, but you may also, in the course of your research, produce and publish open data and other open access content to contribute to the conversation in your field. Mm -hmm.